Hey guys, welcome back to some more Silent Hill. I kind of left off. Come in, are you there? Wheeler, are you all right? I'll wait for this. Hey, I've been better, but I'm okay. Did you find Elle? Oh uh, yeah, but we got separated. I'm looking for her now. Where are you? I'm just now leaving the station to find Fitch. Look, we need to stick together. Meet me at his office. Maybe he knows where Elle is. Okay, I'll meet you there. God. I hope Bell's okay. Alright, so we gotta go from my house down to where he's at. So I tried playing this game a couple days ago. On this part. And I kept dying. Over and over. For some reason the dogs just kicked my ass. So, we'll try it again. I shouldn't say we'll try it again, because I already know. I beat this part. So I'm doing the commentary after, just in case I got a little too pissed off. But, uh, I don't know, most of you guys probably don't realize of, uh, why people do commentary over gameplays. So, typically there's a couple reasons. One, they just want to hear their own voice, which usually isn't the main case. And, uh, two, the reason that we have to do commentary over gameplay is, uh, cause a lot of us are partners, and we have to do it that way if we want to be able to uh, monetize our videos and like that. that's what they require. So, that's one of the reasons why you see, you'll see or hear people talking over their videos. I know not a lot of people like commentaries over videos, sometimes they just like to watch the gameplay. So, there are those channels that do that, but just keep in mind if you ever hear a ton of people talking over the gameplay, that's probably why. So, hopefully that'll give you guys a little explanation. The first time I was doing this, I kept uh, waiting until like some bad guys showed up. There's a couple swinging arm guys, like right there. I can't remember if this is the one I actually passed it or not. What I should have done is I should have just ran past them instead of wasting like, all my bullets. One of these days I'll actually figure out that you don't need to kill every enemy. I just wasted my whole clip. And I'll get to hobble my ass back over where we need to go. I'm just following the blood trails here. So I assumed that we had to follow him to where we need to go, and then I was correct. I am dying, and I need some health, but apparently we're like in this doctor's office, and luckily for me there's some health over here in the corner. Thank God. cool thing about this game is like if you ever die all you have to do is just die and continue on where you're at because they'll give you at least half health so I know a couple times before I was recording I made sure I had died in certain areas uh, if I was stuck so that that way I could continue on with half health get a picture Bunch of creepy ass dolls. I don't know about you guys, but I freaking hate porcelain dolls. Like, I fucking hate them. Like, any type of doll. Especially porcelain dolls. I don't understand how people can have those as, like, collectibles or whatever the hell they are. They're freaking freaky. Kind of goes in hand in hand with clowns. Like, who honestly wants to. Be around a clown. I hate clowns. 
So I keep checking that thing, and apparently we need a key, so... I'm just gonna keep checking around the, the sides of things. That's what I ended up doing, but... I hate him so much I try to stab at this doll here. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was trying to actually accomplish there, but... Oh well. So I open this door, and all I hear is... You can hear just stuff rattling around. I had no idea what the hell was on the other side of that door. So even though I know what's on the other side of this door now, since I'm doing the commentary after, I'm not going to say anything. Alright, so there's like six nurses out there, right? So I made sure I turned off my flashlight. And I was like, alright, well... I have to go that way, because there's no other way to go. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah, there's one literally right there. The other ones are all freaking out down the hall. So I wasn't sure if holding down left trigger as I walk around is going to be this, you know, just as easy or quieter if I run or don't do that and just walk through. So I try to be like super. Look how slow I'm moving. I'm literally moving so slow. And I literally just get my ass on the game. I'm like, maybe I'll go behind the door and she won't see me. No. That's not what happened. As you can see, I died. So what I did is I sped up. Because I, I basically started out at the exact same point coming out of the sewer. Uh, down the street. So rather than having me watch me kill a bunch of dogs, I just got to this point and then started another recording, so there's going to be a couple different times that that happens, I think. But this time I just turned it off and didn't even try to make a sound at all. And of course there's like one in there. So that didn't help. So I probably could have knifed him, but... I end up switching to my gun here in a second. So I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna get out of this room, I might as well just kill them all. So luckily for me, I had like four bullets left. And I was like, you know, maybe we'll just get the key here. Which is the key on the left hand side that you actually need. If you guys want to go ahead and read that, you can. I am not reading that to you. There's nothing else in this room except for the key, which you need in order to go back to the room we were just in. So I thought I was free and clear, but... And then a nurse came in, so I have... I have no bullets left, but you know what? I cleared out that room. And over here, I couldn't figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go, so I'm gonna... I need turn on the flashlight, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully there was nobody else that was going to come in.
was a fun little trip. I told you dolls are freaky and you shouldn't play with them. That's what happens. Play with porcelain dolls and they'll fuck you over and you end up going to like scary places. Imagine like waking up and like finding your like bed is all bloody and gross like that. So, I haven't played this game ever before, so I, I would kind of explain why I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I haven't seen any walkthroughs on it. I don't like to look ahead on games like this. All I know is that there's a freaky-ass kid at the end of that thing. So, I apologize if it's kind of boring for you guys stop. that I'm kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as, like, looking around a lot and things like that, because I honestly have no idea where I'm going. So basically this is more of a maze, uh, so to speak. There wasn't any Clear indication. I mean, you don't have a map of where you're supposed to go or anything like that. It's just more of go one way. If it doesn't work out, go around the other way. Try to figure it out. So there's gonna be a lot of back and forth on this, and that's like I said, that's because I explore everywhere and I have no idea where I'm going. So I'm sure some of you are screaming through the uh, at the video right now, going, "Hey, idiot! It's right over there!" Freaking just move. But I don't. I'm like, I don't know if this is the time or not, but I actually went all the way back up to the room that we started in because I wasn't sure if I was supposed to get something up there or not. So I don't know why I went back in here, but there's literally nothing back here that we needed to get. So I just wasted a couple minutes just being stupid. Alright, so finally I figured out that this is the right spot to go. This thing was kind of confusing though, because I wasn't sure do I go left, do I go right. But so far I'm really liking this game. I know it's really old compared to some of the other games that are out there, but you know what? So what? I haven't played it. It's still new to me. I haven't seen any walkthroughs on it, like I said, so. This game is, it's not as scary as I would have thought it would have been. It just has a little bit more jump scares. So I'm a little cautious going around corners, kind of like I just did. But... It's like, I, that guy's like relentless. Like, I can't do anything right now. Just let me out. It's 
So of course I have no more bullets because I wasted them all on that other thing. And then I come over here like an idiot thinking that even though there's no A button, like it's gonna get, like magically give me an A button because I wanted to get the hell out of there. So there's only one way across, and if I would have just not gotten the freaking porcelain doll, then I wouldn't I wouldn't be in the same situation that I'm in. So literally you have to jump across. Don't get hit like I am, because you're gonna die. I don't. So I'm like, okay, well you we have to go somewhere. But like the idiot that I am. There's those flying freaking things around here. And of course I got... No health. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I hit Y there, but I hit Y. Oh my god! get this freaking thing off me. But... So that's twice that I've died now in this damn game. I think that's it for the dying part, if I remember right. We're about halfway through my video. So I was going to cut it off, but I'm going to make a little bit longer video this time around. We get like a good like half hour. If I don't get any views on it, cool, no big deal. If you guys like it, that's cool too. So obviously just follow the prompts, like don't be an idiot like I am and like try to like search for like different areas to go to when if it's telling you to drop down, just drop down. So luckily for me there's some medicine in there. Oh, I don't, like, when I did it the second time, I recorded from uh, the other point, there was, I didn't get owned and I didn't go pick up that damn porcelain doll, so that guy never showed up. It's just easier just to drop down, kill the bug things, and good to go. And that freaked me out, too. Freaking little kid, like, running across. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could have probably ran past this too, but you know what? I wasn't sure if that's why they gave you the ammo or not. Because those guys always kick my ass. I'm not experienced enough to uh, play the game without getting my ass handed to me. I know I said drop down, but I wanted to see if there was something. Sometimes there's like things behind you. Like they expect you to always go to the one spot. And there's, you know, everybody goes there. But they miss out on whatever it is. Whether it's a collectible or weapon or ammo or health. or Games always do that. So I always thoroughly check around.
And I don't know how light this is actually going to be as far as uh, on the video effects. As I go through and I try to clean it up, I don't like to try to make it too bright or anything like that on dark games, but enough that you guys can actually see what the hell's going on. So, if it's too light, just let me know. Or if it's too dark, let me know and I'll try to play around with it more. So like I said, this part wasn't actually hard, it was just more of a pain in the ass, because you have to just like go to the left, go to the right. You can't go across there yet, so you have to go over here and do this. Like, I don't mind puzzles and things like that, but... Some of them are just stupid. We have them in there for no damn reason. Like a good 10 minutes worth of like just running back and forth. I didn't realize also that uh, Silent Hill games hardly ever give you save points. Like they literally expect you to make it really far before uh, your next save point. It's the only thing I wish they would have done. So I don't know if they were trying to be difficult and that was like something similar to kind of like Dark Souls where you die, you have to start over again. So I don't know if that's the where Dark Souls got that from because Silent Hill games were like that or what, but it's, it's the only thing that I, I, I'm not a big fan of on these games. Well, in this game, I should say, I haven't played any of the other Silent Hills. Yeah, and I had no idea what the hell that was, but apparently that's the person stuck in the body bag, which is so damn freaky. Some of these are pretty damn self-explanatory. You know, pull a lever, go through, figure out what you want to do. Or follow the little prompt things. This part right here was kind of freaky. The little fans going, I was like, a lot of sounds going on so if you have headphones when you play this part for the first time if you haven't seen a walkthrough like I have haven't then I do a really good job as far as sound effects and things like that I think the only person that's actually gonna maybe watch this whole video all the way through is gonna be the backpack player He's a boss at these type of games, so I'm sure he's laughing at his screen, watching me play, going, you're an idiot. This is not how you're supposed to do this game. 
But you know what? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Luckily for me, I got these guys killed right away. So, I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. Um, which you'll find here in a second. Because I really was realizing how long the video had gone already, so... You're going to see a pause menu. Um, but then I did another video here in a second, so don't go anywhere, it's not over yet. But I was like, you know what, let's just make like a good long video. Nobody really makes good long videos anymore. They all make like, I mean, I don't know who set the standard at, at like 10, you know, 10 or 15 minute gameplays, but most of the time, I, and I, I probably understand, I mean, most of the time you only watch a longer video is like if the person's catching your attention or if you enjoy the person's voice or whatever it is but there's so many videos that you'd have to actually do like if it's like an eight or ten hour game you end up doing like 40 different videos so you know versus if you only did you did them at uh you know 20 30 minutes 40 even in like an hour each you know, you might not get as many views, but who cares? It'll still get the job done a lot faster, and, you know, maybe people will look them up later on, because it's not always going to be looked at right away. Anyways, there's a lever that you need to do, and you got to wait for the thing to stop, and then you're going to go through... I made the mistake of trying to go through this way. Don't do what I did. Just pull the lever and go straight. Like I said, I'm sure it's kind of frustrating for some of you guys that have already played this game watching my videos. I do make it through. I'm like, how many times do I have to hit this damn lever to stop the freaking van? Alright, stop, stop, stop. So you gotta go through there and you gotta go drop down. Before the fan starts starts up again. So right here, we get to do a fun little puzzle of stop the fans all in one section so you can get to the other side. So it's not as tough as it looks, or may not look to some of you people, but it didn't take me that long to figure out. So if you just do what I do, you'll be good to go. let you guys watch this part.
I'm too bad. It didn't take that long. It's some of those other ones I hate, you know, doing the puzzles. So they're, they're not bad if you're normally just playing them by yourself, but if you're recording while you're trying to play and get them done, some of the times I just have to, like, stop it and go back to it because otherwise you look like a complete idiot sitting there for, like, five minutes trying to figure out a puzzle. So thank God there's a save point here. So I cut it off right after this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't picked up this game, pick it up. I strongly suggest it. So until next time, peace out.